Hey guys, Aaron here with another fountain pen review. <clears throat> and I'm finally starting to get my voice back, thank goodness. Um, and I just got this pen today in the mail, and I'm actually pretty excited to review the pen. Um, this is a pen, obviously, if you're looking at it, you're thinking, wow, that looks a lot like a Schaefer Balance. And you would almost be right, except it's not. It is a Chinese fountain pen. And it is a Wing Sung 626. Um, and, you know, I, I, this is uh, the second pen that I have purchased that I would say is kind of almost like a, a direct replica of a Schaefer Balance. And this one definitely goes to great lengths to pay respect to um, that iconic pen. And I know some people may say, well, it, it's, it depends somewhat of um, a ripoff and that, that can be an opinion. At least that's, those are things I've heard in the past of other um, Chinese fountain pens but I would say this one is more paying respect to that. And similar to the LIY pen that I reviewed um, last week, I think it's it's definitely a pen that has a lot going for it. And it is a really good price point. And I'm excited to own it now. So kind of talking about the pen, as I said before, this is the Wingsung 626. Um, it does have in the description that it is a celluloid material. Um, I, you know, kind of like the fully one that I, I reviewed a few weeks ago, it says celluloid and, and it may not be, I, I don't, I'm not going to sit here and say that it is. What I can say is it is a, a nice looking material. Now I have an led light on it right now. Um, if I was to turn the LED light on and just have the na the uh, lighting in the room, obviously you can still see some of that depth in the material. Um, it does have some chatoyancy to it. Um, and in natural lighting, I did take it outside for a couple minutes. It looks really nice outside as well. Um, but again, I, I, you know, I don't know if it really is celluloid. That's what it says. Um, I paid $29.75 for it. Um, whatever material it is made out of, it is a very pretty material. I went with the blue one. Um, they were, they had these in different um, dot variations. So they had a gold dot and a white dot. And most of the gold dots are already sold out, which I was kind of surprised considering Schaefer balance, you know, white dot obviously is their signature um, that the gold dots were sold out first. And maybe that was just something more people wanted the gold dot than the white dots. Or maybe they had less of the gold dots. I don't know. When I checked the other day, there were still some of these blues left. I think there were some greens. And really, that was about it. Um, I... I Similar to a lot of Chinese pins, um, sometimes I will wait and I'll regret waiting because, um, for instance, Delike um, had a um, alpha resin fountain pen that they had that had a beautiful kind of blue ice color and it was the only resin that I had seen. Ever, all the other ones I'd seen were metal, like um, aluminum or brass and of course I waited a, a couple weeks to make sure that I was utilizing my funds correctly and the pins were all sold out and I've seen none since then so if this is a pin that you're interested in don't wait um, go get it um, I will say one thing that I was a little bit disappointed in was the shipping method I've ordered from the same eBayer before, and I don't feel like the packaging was great this time around. Um, it was put inside of a plastic type bag, which I can kind of show right here. And it had this little um, packing material wrapped around the box. And of course, the box was all smashed up. And I noticed that there is a few um, marks on the... Um, 
cat bands here, which I think could have been from the uh, shipping. Um, as well as the cap, I did put silicone grease on it, but the cap is a little bit tight when I take it off. Um, so, so a little bit disappointed as far as that goes. Um, and again, who knows, I could have gotten one of the last um, of these colors that they had, so I just happened to get that pin. Um, but all in all, I'm still happy. Um, I did, the pin was a little bit dull. I put some of this Renaissance wax on it and it really shined up really well. So part of the um, kind of that mirror type image that you're seeing now um, is partially due to that Renaissance wax. The good thing is it will help protect the pen from a lot of, um, or from some surface scratches, as well as uh, fingerprints that get on the pen from excessive use. So looking at the pen, obviously you'll notice straight cigar shaped um, barrel here. Um, then moving up towards the cap, you have your step up and then you have your two um, cap rings here. And then you've got that clip. And the clip is very, very similar to your uh, later model Schaefer balances. Um, I know the early models had the more of a ball clip to them. I, for the life of me, I know the name of this clip. I can't think of it right now. Um, but needless to say, I think it mimics that um, Schaefer balance clip very well. Um, the clip works well. It is somewhat springy, not super stiff, but definitely will fit in a shirt pocket well. And then of course you see your dot up here, your white dot as they would say. And then you of course got your coned uh, finial. Now taking off the uh, cap, it's one turn. So not quite one and a half turns and we're gonna reveal that nib. Now, <clears throat> this nib is really cool because obviously, and I, I do have a Schaefer balance that we can kind of look at. Um, it, it is very, very similar to a uh, Schaefer balance, or, or yes, a Schaefer balance nib. Um, first, talking about this section, um, the uh, barrel threads are very shallow and not sharp at all. You've got your metal band right here and then the section concaves and then flares back out at the end. Um, you'll notice you've got an additional metal band here going towards the uh, nib and feed, and then the nib and feed are set inside that uh, white collar there. Um, taking a look at the, or closer look at the nib, you've got the uh, Wingsung um, logo on there, that um, Target logo, and then you see Wing S and then F for fine. You've got your uh, heart-shaped breather hole, which I think is really kind of a cool touch. And then you'll see, come on, focus. You'll see some of that scroll work. I think it's kind of neat. Um, and then of course, there's your feed. And then taking off the barrel, this is not a pin that you can eyedropper because you've got a metal, uh, barrel threads here. Um, you'll notice that the uh, converter is very, very similar to a platinum converter, which this is not, I, I've seen this in a couple other uh, Wingsung uh, pins. I think I've even seen it in some Delight pins as well. I think I actually have one or two in my collection. Um, I like this converter. This portion here unscrews, so it makes it really easy to clean. It also has a metal collar down here at the end that fits in really tightly into this section here. Um, I definitely think it's a really nice upgraded converter, um, and I personally really like it. Now, I did have my questions based off of kind of the condition of the pen when I got it. And it to me, it seems like this pen might have been used because the converter was definitely, seemed like it was cleaned out. Um, I didn't find any ink residue in it, and but it did seem like the converter was cleaned out. And so this might have been a pen that possibly was returned. Um, it works fine. The nib, and I'll show you guys in the writing sample, the nib performs fine. Um, 
I've ordered from the same eBayer several times, never once had an issue. And I mean, I'm not displeased by any means as far as the pen goes, but it does seem like the pen may have been used at one point. Um, so up next, I'm going to do some sizing comparisons real quick. And the first one that I have is a pen I've already done a review on, and this is the Pen BBS. And this is the 266 model. So the Pen BBS 266, you notice they're very close in size. The next one is the LIY. I think this is the Me Too is actually what they call it. Um, noticing it's, it's a little bit shorter. And then we have a vintage uh, Schaefer balance that is um, definitely the shortest of the four. So the measurements on the Wingsung 626, it is five and three quarter inches capped. It's about five inches uncapped. And then a, a whopping six and a half inches posted. It is not post deeply at all. And it's really not a pen that I would post because it doesn't post very securely. Um, similar to my Schaefer Balance here, while it is a pen that you can post, it doesn't post very deeply and seems a little bit weird when it posts. It's not a pen I would be posting very often. <clears throat> Taking these away, I would like to put a kind of a side-by-side -side comparison of the nibs. This pen here is not inked up at all. But to kind of give you an idea of how close those nibs are. Let's see if I can get it to focus in a little bit. Come on, focus. I wanted you guys to be able to see the breather holes and how similar they are. But my camera is not wanting to work with me. Let me see if I zoom out just a little bit. There we go. So you see that heart-shaped breather hole. Now this Schaefer, this pen that I have here, I, I got for like $20 and it was in very very poor condition when I got it and this is actually not the original nib that came with it this is a bent nib which actually gives some it's not it's it's like a nail but because it's bent it actually gives some interesting line variation uh, when you write with it um, this is a pen that had needed a lot of work when I first got it so you'll notice they did a really good job though in my opinion with that nib as far as just I think it's cool, um, you know, to see um, when you see the, those two nibs side by side. I think it's really, really interesting. Um, I like this pen. I really like this blue color. Um, Chris Rap 52, I think, has already done a review on his red one that he got. I think in his review he said he got a green one. I, I hope he does at least a follow up to show us the green color. Um, I wasn't as impressed with the red one and i'm not a big fan of red pens i don't own a lot i do like the color blue so i may be impartial but i really really like this portion right here that kind of shows some different chatoyancy and and some depth in that material the red one i didn't feel like had that um, so i'm really like the blue one and online when you look at the pictures of the other pens i, I think the green one will be somewhat similar to this um, so up next, guys, I'm going to do a writing sample, and then um, we'll finish up from there. See you guys in a moment. All right, guys, I am back, and we are going to get this thing rolling. So this is the Wing Sung 626. And first thing you probably notice is this thing lays down a lot of ink. Um, this nib is really cool. Um, this is probably the coolest thing about the pen is the nib. Um, it, it definitely, it, what well, you guys are going to see. So um, I, the ink I'm using is Waterman Serenity Blue. 
I had to use this ink because I just felt like um, it was a good ink to use. Back out just a little bit. So quick writing sample. So there you guys have it. I mean, look, what this Waterman ink dries pretty fast, but I mean, you can see the first part right here that I wrote is still drying. And I mean, this thing lays down some ink. I mean, if you're somebody that likes and you know a pen that is, I, I, I would say, you know, close to being a gusher, this is the pen for you. I mean, you just look at that. I mean, it, it's just crazy how much ink this thing lays down. I would think out of I would say out of all my Chinese pens, this one definitely lays down a lot. Now here's another cool thing about it. So here is like literally no pressure. I'm just literally just letting it glide. In fact, I'll just lay the pen on the paper. That's a bad angle. I'm just letting it glide. Now just a little bit more pressure, and there you can see definitely get some line variation with this nib and. I mean, I'd be careful. Obviously, I mean, you don't you don't want to ruin your nib. But I think I mean it's it's cool. I like this nib a lot. I like the fact that it looks a lot like a vintage nib. This pen has a vintage feel to it. Um, I honestly, I I've, I might go back on there and and see if the green one is still available and order another one. You know, I haven't totally made that decision. It would be out of what I would normally do, but I mean, just look at that. It, it writes very well. And you know, it was similar when I watched um, Chris Rapp's review as well. I mean, his nib. So, I mean, I know when you, you review a pen, you're only able to review one pen. So, you know, I never know if I'm reviewing a pen, is it just my pen? meaning if it doesn't perform very well or is it you know my pin just better than some of the other pins that I get lucky but I think his review was very similar to I mean it seemed like his was a very wet rider and again if you're someone that enjoys that this might be a pin for you um, as far as what I like about it well as you can probably tell I like a lot about it um, it is a very nice attractive color I really really like this blue color um, I think it looks awesome um, my only thing that I honestly dislike about it is that I think I might have gotten a pen that might have been used and I know I can return it and get my money back or maybe even see if I can exchange it I just wanted to go through that I don't have to wait for it the pen writes very well I don't find really any issues like I said there's a little bit of um, some of the plating was worn off. You can kind of see it there. Um, it For me, it's not the end of the world. I paid $30 for the pen, and it writes, writes beautifully to me. Um, that's all I have, guys, for this review. Um, I do. I have an, another pen coming in the mail tomorrow, and that'll probably be my last pen purchase for um, probably a couple months. I'm saving up for uh, some important family ventures. Um, but I still have, of course, tons of pins to review. Now, the pin that I have coming in the mail, I'm not going to reveal what it is yet, but I'm very, very excited. And I'm trying to make sure that I'm not going to get myself overexcited to where the pin underperforms for me. But I will be doing, with that pin, it is kind of a three-part review. Um, and I will start those reviews next week. And you'll see why towards the end. And I'll kind of reveal some of that to you guys. But... Something that um, it, I bought the pen kind of on a whim. I wasn't anticipating buying it. And I'm really excited to see how it performs. And um, I'll let you guys know that, of course. And I will do a review on it. Um, until next time, guys, I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. And I hope that if you guys like this pen, you go and buy it. Because it's not going to be on there very long. If it's not already gone, it may already be gone. 
Um, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.